Hello, I'm Gakaitham Rius. We are now at Ayala Mall basement. Big game Yuna Natin Ang number. Thank you, sir. And now let's proceed to our destination. From here we will proceed to SM City, uptown. Let's go in Sabay and Neowako, Sapag Drive. We are near to a public hospital. Here and across was a hotel. The Seda Hotel and Centrio Tower. The traffic here at Cagayan, Oro is stressful. But it's fun because you will enjoy. The views are beautiful and the people are so friendly. And that is Centrio Tower. It is one of the, the first condo here, at the heart of the city. We are now reaching the road of Corrales, guys. In the left side is the water district and right beside me is the provincial jail. The provincial government managed to put a jail in the center of the city. In daytime this part of intersection has a heavy traffic. There's a lot of restaurants here and bars. It is stressful here to find parking area so, if you wish to hang out I highly suggest to use motorcycle if you have. If you notice there are cars parked in both sides of the road. A night delivery driver. Here we called it Food Panda. Left side is Trinidad building, one of the oldest building in Cagayan de Oro. There's a lot of establishments here. Most businessmen here is Asian foreigner. We are heading to Divisoria, one of the busiest part of Cagayan de Oro. If we turn left in this part of intersection, we can reach the public market. I can give you a ride soon, so always check my channel and subscribe. In 50 meters we will reach the Xavier University. There's a Palapa food hub here, it's delicious Muslim delicacy, here in Philippines. And that building is part of Xavier, I believe it a gymnasium of the university. We are now reaching the Divisoria. It's fun here. A lot of cars parked in both sides. Days and nights. Panahe Talaga Ang Pag Park. Oh, red ribbon, one of my favorite cake. In 200 meters, we can reach the Burger King and Jollibee. But for shortcut, we will turn left. We will cross Pabeo Street to avoid more heavy traffic. We call this part of the street island. It is a park and monuments in the center of Divisoria Road. Divisoria is also called Kiosko Kagawasan. This part of the city has a historical background. Maybe someday we can have it as content. And we reached Pabeo Street. Sometimes we called it also Divisoria Kage and Ons have a habit calling a place in its old name. Oh, there's a lot of street food vendors here. One of food they sell is called Proven. It's a fried chicken skin. I'm 20 meters we can see the Grand Central building. A lot of cars again. And that is Grand Central. There's a restaurants here, a bars, cafes, etc. And in the side of the building has many food hubs and fast food restaurants. And in front of them is a radio station. I can turn left for a shortcut, but I will choose to drive straight. That part of the road has a beautiful view.
Walang Kata Pusong Sasakyan Nanaka Park. That is Dynasty Court Hotel. It is a five-story building, I guess. Across of it are disco bars. If we drive straight, we will reach the City Hall and Lord's College. That side of the road is Gaston Park, that have also historical background. It is Park of St. Augustine Cathedral Church. Across of it is the oldest hospital in the city. And now we are approaching the Isolina Bridge. Kage Anons called it Carmen Bridge or Kesy. I don't know where they got that name. The lights are so beautiful. Trivia. Isolina Bridge. Named after Governor Pachencio Isolina, former governor of Misamis Oriental, was built around late 19th century. It is the first bridge in Cagayan de Oro City, and was originally built in bamboo. It had been reconstructed many times until its present steel suspension bridge. Ooh, oh, it's gorgeous! We reached the intersection of Carmen, also called by people here KESY before. That is the new Gaisano Carmen Mall, that was open last year. This road is part of Barangay Carmen. It is a four-way lane, this part of the city is one of the busiest during rush hour, especially every weekdays. In the left side is a public elementary school and a huge building owned by a private company. And now we are approaching the Ilea crossing. We are now heading to Upper Baluling. A little trivia, this is the first flyover in the city. Under this flyover is the lane, heading to Barangay Canedo and, and Barangay McCannon. This is just a small flyover about 150 meters if I am not mistaken. Ooh, another food panda rider. I can see the building of Price Gas Company. It was a hotel but it was closed a few years ago. I don't know if it is still operating. We used to perform a silent drill exhibition way back 2008 in my high school days. This part of the road is prone to accidents so it's better for me to drive safely here. Stop, look, and listen is the key for a safe ride. If we saw this billboards it means we are near. This part of the road has a lot of Kamati riders here. Better to stay alert. Kamati riders is a term here for uneducated drivers who cause accidents or traffic congestions. Sorry if I skipped a video someone is calling. A little recap. Duma and Teo S.A. Upper Balo Lang Road. Straight ahead Lang Mu till you reach the SM City Uptown. We are very near. I can see the SM logo and its tower. In my left is the Learning Center for Agriculture owned by Xavier University and across of it is the Hall of Justice and Taipan Cars. Woo, whoa! The North Wing SM Uptown, the extension of SM City. In the North Wing are restaurants, salons and spa, entertainments and car park area on the roof and level 3 of its building. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.